What's going on, everybody? This is Mark Bruce again with Fit Strength Training, and this is part three on how to deadlift. And I'm going to introduce you, introduce to you those performance movements. Two of my favorite movements are the trap bar deadlift and the conventional deadlift. Why do I call these the performance movements? Well, simply because this will allow us to get into those perfect positions that we need to be to be at our highest performance with load, which means that we will ultimately get stronger, faster, more explosive and help us reach our goals. So whether you're an athlete, whether you're a fitness enthusiast, it does not matter. Being able to do these will take your level of play to the next level. So the trap bar deadlift to me is a lot more safer and is one of my favorite movements for those that I work with because it's gonna put our lower, our lower back less at risk. Why? Well, because, because since we're gonna grab it from the side, our center of gravity is gonna be more underneath us, right in the center of our, in our foot. With the conventional, we're grabbing the bar more from the front. So that means with added weight, it could force us to shoot our hips up first and pull from the lower back. So with the trap bar, what you're gonna do, if you see it, is you're gonna step in at the center. So I'm gonna make sure that the bar is the bar is level, not tilted, because I don't wanna pull from the front, I wanna pull from the back. So I'm gonna walk right in the center. I'm gonna make sure that my feet are hip width apart based on me. Some people are bigger, some people are wider, some people are more narrow. So you need to make sure what works for you. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different. So from here, I'm gonna make sure that my heels are nailed into the ground and I'm gripping with my big toe and pinky toe. From there, I'm gonna treat this just like all the other movements from our pre-reps. So if you think of our wall tap, I'm gonna slide that in my knees and I'm gonna hinge back and then sit down, maintaining a big chest, maintaining a neutral spine, keeping my chin tucked in. And from here, I'm gonna inhale, exhale, and engage those glutes, squeezing those abs. So again, I'm inhaling down, exhale, pushing that floor away. Inhale, exhale, driving my hips towards the center, engaging those glutes, okay? So this is the trap bar. Make sure you're gonna use a load where you can be successful at and lift in good form. This movement does you no good if it's too heavy and you can't do it with proper form. Next. Next is the conventional deadlift. So, the conventional deadlift is used with the straight barbell. So for this one, it's a little bit different. I'm going to walk up to the bar, make sure that my feet are still hip width based on my body. I'm gonna make sure the bar is touching my shins. If it's not touching the shins and it's a little further away, well now when you come back up, you're probably gonna shoot your hips up first because the weight's too far in front and round your, uh, your thoracic spine, the upper part of your back, and that can result in back pain. So make sure that your shins are always touching the bar. From here, treat the same way as that wall tap. So again, slide down the knees, hinge back for your hamstring engage, and I'm gonna grab the bar a little wider than my knees. I want my knees to be on the inside of my elbows, right here. So again, hinging back, grab the bar, big chest, abs are tight, bring my hips into the bar. Neutral spine, length of inhale. Rounding in. So those are our two performance movements, the trap bar deadlift and the conventional deadlift. So that is part three. Understand, some of you may be taller than me, some may be shorter. So do the movement according to what your body is allowing you to do at that moment. So if you're a taller athlete, what you can do to do this successfully, because you may not just be able to get that low, you can put plyo boxes or other rubber weights on either side, and that can raise the bar. So if you do a high bar deadlift, That'll allow you to get in that position successfully and perform it in a healthy manner. So those are our two performance movements. Hope you enjoyed it. Focus on part one, working on mobility. Part two, progressing to, to more of a dynamic movement. And then our performance movements with our trap bar and our conventional. My name is Mark Bruce. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. Have fun. Live strong. Be smart.